what our children need and our families need is for you to act boldly. Parents calling on Portland's Board of Education to recommend to City Council that they move forward and put the district's bond proposal on the November ballot. Everybody knows that this needs to be done. The board recommends renovating Presumpscott, Longfellow, Lyseth, and Reiki Elementary Schools at a cost of more than $70 million. The proposal comes after years of research and temporary fixes to a growing problem. Even in the building we're standing in tonight, for some Scott, there are trailers in the back that had a lifespan of only about five years, and now they've been here over 15 years. So um, we have students that are having to put winter coats on and winter boots on just to come in to use the, the bathrooms. It's sort of unsafe to go outside by, your, by yourself. Most parents at tonight's public hearing agree. The multi-million dollar project is necessary. 70 million would be um, spent over numerous years. They're going to do one project after the next. But not all taxpayers are convinced that this large of an investment will improve city schools. This is going to be a significant hit on local property taxpayers. Board members say they are taking into consideration all sides before presenting to city council next month. I think it's critical for them to understand that these buildings are extremely old and um, they, they really need uh, renovating and rebuilding. The board meets with city councilors on June 7th for the first reading of this proposal before another public hearing and a final vote on June 21st. Live in Portland, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.